Hey guys, welcome back to Birth Tip Tuesday here at The Birth Deck, where we pick one card from our 50 ways to comfort a person in labor, and we go into more detail on that technique. We have four categories in the deck, massage, mind, movement, and support, and today we're going over a support card. We're going over the card called Cleansing Breath, okay? On the front of our cards, you have the actual technique that's either illustrated as in some of the other cards, or in the case of a breathing script, a breathwork activity, you have the script that your partner or a nurse or a friend can read to you, your doula, whomever. On the back, we have the explanation and then really, really simple instructions. The whole point of the deck is to give you the information you need to execute the technique, no more, no less. If you want more information, you come to us directly, you come here to Instagram and you're going to learn more every single week, or you access a birth educator local to your area. This deck is meant to give you all the techniques in the palm of your hand with no nonsense, all right? So why do we use breathwork in labor? It turns out that breathing is the most important part of labor because your muscles can't work without breath. There is a chemical exchange that happens between oxygen, CO2, and a bunch of the mitochondria in your body and in your muscles that actually make your muscles fire. And if you are not breathing, then your muscles can't contract and they also can't relax. Why do we practice breath work? We practice breath work because most of us are going through our days chest breathing, which is actually an adrenal response to stress and anxiety that we have in our everyday environment. And we don't ever release and relax down into our lungs and down our ribs and into our diaphragm and our bellies. When we are breathing for labor, it's a lot like breathing for exercise, all right? But it's hard to remember that when you're feeling maybe a little bit scared of the process and when you're in discomfort or pain. So we need to be reminded to breathe. And this is a great example of a technique that you can practice ahead of time, just like last week's technique, uh, which was the hypnosis script. A great, great um, practice activity for you guys. Actually, I think it was two weeks ago that we did the hypnosis script. Okay, so I'm gonna read you this script right now. Cleansing breath. As the contraction is beginning, slowly say, slowly take a big, deep breath into your belly, then let it go completely out of your mouth, and then you should actually do it. So, as the contraction finishes, say, take a deep breath into your belly, then breathe it out completely. Let go of the contraction. And on the back, the explanation. The breaks in between contractions are crucial to maintaining stamina throughout labor. If mama is holding on to a contraction, she won't be able to rest adequately before the next one. By relaxing the rest of her body and mind, mama will be able to quickly relax her uterus after every contraction. The body builds tension as labor progresses and exhaling helps calm the mind and release muscular tension. So, as you just heard, it's very important in between every contraction to completely let it go, emotionally, mentally, physically, because you need that rest and that relaxation to build power for the next contraction and to give you to get you through the marathon of labor. If you guys have any more questions, please let us know. Great technique to practice if you're gonna use the deck ahead of time during pregnancy to get ready for labor, but also a great one to just use when you're in labor.